The Sierra is Maruti's answer to the likes of the Honda City and the Hyundai Verna, but it isn't exactly in the same mold. So, it's not really a style icon and its design won't polarize opinions either. It is a no-nonsense car that's also packed with features. Okay, unlike the Honda, the Sierra doesn't get a sunroof and unlike the Verna, there are no cool seats, but on most other counts, the Sierra does well. It gets a multifunctional steering that adjusts for rake, there's a single zone climate control system with rear AC vents, and there's cruise control. Furthermore, it gets auto headlamps, electric ORVMs with fold function, keyless entry and start, and many cup and bottle holders. And the driver's seat can be adjusted for height as well. The Sierra's 1.5 diesel has a comprehensive driver information system too. It throws up info on distance travel, fuel efficiency, range, as well as how you are harnessing the engine output. One can alter settings for lights and door locks via the system too. As is mandatory on all cars today, the Sierra's 2 gets a touchscreen multimedia system and it has the basics sorted. So it has aux, USB, Bluetooth, telephony, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But in terms of looks and appeal, it looks dated and it isn't visually very appealing either. In terms of space though, the Sierra's aces it. It measures almost 4.5 meters in length and it sits on a wheelbase that's almost 2.7 meters long. No wonder it is the most spacious sedan in its class, especially for the rear passengers. There's enough and more knee and leg room, there's good shoulder room to seat three and the headroom isn't half bad either. And the boot at 510 liters is humongous. The Maruti Suzuki Sias then won't blow your mind and it won't pull at your heartstrings either. But as a functional, practical and a no-nonsense sedan that's also comfy and spacious, the Sias nails it. <laughs>